Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll recreate this cool looking orthogonal drawing using AutoCAD. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to look at our isometric drawing. Now we need to convert this drawing into your front, top and side view. So the first thing before we even get started is we have to set up our document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write UN for units and I'm going to make sure that I'm in the double precision. So two decimal points. I'm using the international uh, metric version. So I'm just going to press OK. And then the next thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that my page setup is all set up correctly. So. For the printer, we will be using the AutoCAD high quality PDF uh, printer and the paper size will be the ISO expand and we are in the landscape orientation. The scale needs to match one millimeter to one unit. Once you've got all that, then you can press OK. So now that we've got our title block, we're ready to go. We've got our scale, we've got our drawing number. The first thing that we have to do is we have to look at this isometric drawing. So what we're going to do is, firstly, we're going to turn on ortho mode, make sure that that's on and whatever snaps that you need for this to work. So I'm just going to start with all of them on for now. So when you don't need them, you can come back into here and you can change them as you like. So this way, what I'm going to see is going to be the front view. So I'm going to see that little section there. I'm going to see all of this area here. And then there's going to be a little bit of hidden detail behind it and that's pretty much it. So let's start with that. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw my line which is going to be my total length and it's going to be 70 and then the height is going to be 60. So now that I've got that I might as well just join that up and so that's going to be the place where we are going to do this drawing in now. We don't need all of this because we need to go 20 in from the side. So this dimension over here, we're going to start with that. So I'm just going to come in 20 and then I'm going to go up 20 and then it's going to come out to the side and then it's going to go up 15 and then it's going to go back in. So I wanted to make sure that it hits that point there and then it goes back. So now I can press trim and I can get rid of all of the sides that we don't need. So now once I've got that, I know that that distance from there to there is also going to be 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write that in there, 20, and then I'm going to make sure that it clicks down here. Now, if that doesn't snap properly, you can change your snap settings over here. So now once I've got that, now I can trim the areas that I don't need. And so now if you were drawing double lines over that, you can always delete that if you like. So now the only other thing is there is a little bit of hidden detail with this line going down. So what that is going to look like is just from this point all the way down. And what we're going to do with this line is we're just going to come up here to our layers, our properties and go to layer. And I'm just going to load the hidden detail line. So I'm going to press H for hidden. And then I'm just going to press on that hidden detail line and now I can go back to my layers and I can change it. So now I've got that line in there and that's looking pretty good. So now what I need to do is I need to work on the top view. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this line, I'm just going to draw it up and then I'm going to take this distance from here as well. So now the whole width of this shape is going to be 60 so I need to make sure that that goes down to 60 and then I can cut it off just like that so I'm just going to use the trim tools because I don't need that anymore and now we can start to figure this out so the first thing is this line is going to be from here going up and that's going to give us that line in there then I've got this which is going to be 20. Now I don't even have to measure it because I've got it from here. So all I have to do is draw that up. Now the only thing that's different here is we need to find these two lines going down. So if the distance from here to here is 60 and the distance in between these two lines over here are 30, you're left with 15 on each side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in 15 
and then we are going to draw that out and we're going to do the same for the other one so we're going to come up 15 and then we're going to put it in just like that so now we can trim the sections that we don't need so we don't need that section because you won't see it um these this line here and this line here you will see it in the top but honestly you probably could get rid of that as well and that's pretty much it now you could put this as hidden detail because there's nothing underneath but we will just leave it like that for now so now we're up to the side view so this is what we are going to see from this side so if we look at it this way we will see this line there's another rectangle in there and then another line over here so because i have the heights already to go what i'm going to do is i'm just going to draw it over i've already got the how tall this whole thing is and so all i need is the distance and that width is going to be 60 as well so now I'm just going to bring that up and then I can press trim to get rid of that line that I do not need. So now again, we know that that distance from there to there is going to be 15. So all I need to do is come over 15 and then I can draw it down like that. And I need to do the same for the other side. Come over 15 and then drag it down. So the only thing that we're missing here is this and this, which would be in hidden detail. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw my line like that over and I'm just going to draw my line like that. So now you need to make sure that this actually snaps. So the easiest way is to just draw the line over and then what you can do is you can just trim the sections that you don't need now because there's a lot of uh, lines in there you have to trim around a few points so what we can do is we can just highlight both of those sections there and then just go to hidden and if that didn't work you can always just go back and make them hidden just like that so that's pretty much it for this drawing so there's not much else going on over here so what we're going to do now is we are going to dimension the rest of this drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to dimension and I'm just going to put in some measurements over here. So I've got that listed down as 20 and then I've got this part over here which is 15. Now you want to kind of keep this consistent. So whatever you do it on one, you're going to have to do it on the other one as well. And so the next one is going to be over here and that is going to be the remainder of 60. So that's those dimensions done. Then we can add some other dimensions over here. For example, we can come over here and add 15. We can also come over here and add the other 15 and we can put how wide this is going to be as well so we know that that's 60. and then we'll just put some dimensions on this side as well so we'll put the the width over here so that's it for this short quick tutorial on how to create an orthogonal drawing the reasons why we spread out the dimensions is you you don't want to put it all on one side because then it just gets too close to the title block so just spread them out and put some on one side and some on the other side but anyways guys thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to create an orthogonal drawing hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time